Hey everybody, welcome back. We're taking a look for the hauls from the week. Got some good stuff, some common stuff, some rare stuff, sealed, private press. Uh, 27 CDs, 13 LPs today, showing you guys. So I'll start out with some $3 LPs. There's stuff I needed for the collection, like Temple the Dog, never had this, great 90s album. We got UB40, Labor of Love. Got another Supernatural, Santana. I think CDs, like I always say, are going to be going up in value in the coming years. You got two Bobby Browns, Dance You Know It. And I think this one's just called Bobby, right? Yeah. Um, interesting one, this um, Fanatic, Crime and Consequences. It's a big hip-hop fan, never heard of him. It's actually like a religious rap album. It's well-produced. I kind of enjoyed listening to it. We got Do uh, Motley Crue, Dr. Feelgood, Best of Grateful Dead, Skeletons from the Closet. And we got a bunch of Van Halen's. We got Diver Down, um, OU812, whatever that means, Van Halen self-titled, and 1984. Um, so I'm probably going to lot these together. Could probably get more than three bucks for them um, as a lot. So that was pretty sweet. Let's move on to some $5 CDs. Got a Hendrix, a Mannheim Steamroller. Don't exactly know why I got this. It's worth about five bucks, though. Hands of Time, Kingdom Come. Technotronic, Pump Up the Jam. I'll always buy this, one of my favorite albums. CD, vinyl, whatever. Interesting one, this Hatesy Dixie, Tribute to Mountain Love. They do, like, tribute albums. Um, What is this one? Oh, this is Guns N' Roses. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, Def Leppard, Hysteria, Def Leppard, Greatest Hits, Euphoria, Def Leppard, and Van Morrison, Blowing Your Mind. This one I'm actually keeping. I like Van Morrison. He's cool. So, got some other CDs. This um, Eason Bengu, Soul Brothers, kind of an interesting one. I had looked this one up on Discogs, and uh, there was, let me see here, there's one person had it one person wanted it um i could probably get 10 bucks there's no sales history from it um let's see we got this album i've never heard of into the darkness this anadara anadara i don't even know can't even can't even say it it is sealed um as far as discogs go um there's no sales two people have it from 10 bucks um they're not sealed so i could probably easily get 10 bucks for this Got a, this is probably about a $10 album right here. This lovely, the band. We got a Bush 16 Stone, sealed. New and sealed, probably get 10 bucks for that as well. We got Mozart, the Piano Sonatas. This is actually a box set of CDs. I've never seen something quite like this. So that's a $15 bill right there. But the real good stuff came from the vinyl. Now this Abiba, Habiba. This album, when I looked it up on Discogs, I was at the thrift store, I was tripping because like I looked and saw it was like three, four hundred bucks. But this is actually a reissue. Um, the original came out in 1974, but this is a newer reissue. So it's a good $25 album. Threw it right in the sleeve when I got it home. So this Japanese album I found, really interesting. If anyone knows anything about it, please let me know. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Is it is it 20 bucks? Is it more? Is it less? It's pretty cool. I listen to it. It's got like a funky like 70s kind of vibe. But please let me know if you guys... I looked all over for it. Couldn't find anything. Uh, <laughs> this one, this Don Bennett. This one, uh, four people have it on Discogs. Three want it. Got 19.99. Um, there's a sale for that. It's six from like 14.99. Um, still got the original shrink on it, Heritage. So I could probably, you know, private press album, I could probably get, I don't know, 20 bucks for it. This one, another private press, still in the original shrink, not sealed though. This Gordon Fossum, Bill Vice. Um, you know, I, a lot of these private press, I can usually get 20 bucks for these. They take a little bit longer to sell though, but you know, you get rewarded for being patient. This Irish Humor Songs. Um, Discogs, four people have it, seven want it. So there's 
you know, one from 2366 on Discogs, only one other one. So I'll probably put it on there for maybe 20 bucks. J.R. Walker and the All-Stars Shotgun. I want to listen to this. This looks cool. It's a $10 album. Now this one, Burst Forth Creation. It's God Unlimited. Really interesting when I looked it up. This is why you look up the weird stuff. Um, Discogs, five people have it, two on it. It's from 3516. So it's in nice shape, the album is. So that's a $30 bill. Very White. Rhapsody in White. Um, this one, $10 album. Woodstock, cool album. Three LPs in here. This is 15 bucks. Oops. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Love that group. Always picking them up. That's 10 bucks. Now this Legendary Songs of the Old West. This is a box set. Kind of interesting. It's $15. Easy $15 for the set. It's in nice shape. We got a Delvin Darien High School. Now these I love. Pick them up all the time. Any like high school jazz band, high school whatever. Just pick them up. It's twenty dollars. Now this one I put in a sheet too. I don't have any like ten inch sheets. I just threw it in a regular one. Kind of moldy. This one, um, you know, they're going for about fifteen bucks. And uh, in this condition, the record's in okay shape. I could probably get like 10 bucks for that. So, you know, we got a pretty good score. Definitely scored in the LPs this time around. So 27 CDs, 13 LPs, it's like 40 bucks plus tax. So, you know, a total about 366 bucks. So not a bad score. We'll see you guys.